Hey coaches, I mean, hey diamonds, speaking into existence, right? Okay, so we all know that building a team is a crucial part of this business. It's an integral part of ultimately massive success. But for some reason, people are terrified to invite people or to offer the opportunity. Now, to me, this says you don't truly believe in what it is that you have to offer. And of course, there's other things like self-doubt and belief in yourself. But when you truly understand the magnitude of what it is that we have to offer, I think that you'll offer the opportunity or invite people to look at the opportunity with no abandon or more confidence. Now, I don't know about you, but I always offer this as if I'm doing someone a favor. And truly, in my heart, I feel that I am. Because when this business falls in the lap of someone who gets it and builds a big dream and has a vision for their life, creates a vision for their life, because we suddenly just have it when, when this business finds us or we find it. But when someone really decides to build it and go all in, Magic can happen. Amazing things can happen. That happened in my life. So I am constantly, first of all, I'm praying. Sorry if you don't do that, but I'm praying. Dear Lord, please put people in front of me that need and want this business. Because when I'm able to connect someone to this business who does something with it, their life changes. Okay, so that's what we need to do is look at this as if we got something good here. We got something of value to offer. Why are you going to hold out on that? Next, let's lose that get them mentality or if I can convince them mentality because we aren't getting people. We aren't hunters. We're not trying to convince. We're sharing our life, we're sharing our truth, and we're sharing this opportunity. I don't want anyone on my team that I had to convince. It's hardly going to work out for you or them. You're looking for people who are looking for something different. Something that they can build and invest their time and life in. So that's what I want you to think about today. Are you prejudging? Are you thinking, well, maybe they don't want it or they they're too good for this, or I'm scared to talk to them, or they wouldn't be a good coach. Are you doing that? Or are you feeling like you don't have something to value? Think about these things. And I also want you to think about how many people you actually have reached out to. How many people have you actually invited? If you're logging that and tracking that, you will be able to get an accurate number. But if you're not, perhaps you think that you're asking more people than you are. And a public cattle call Facebook post isn't actually an invite. That's like a feeler. And the invites are the people that you say to personally, hey, have you ever considered coaching? Or, hey, have you ever considered a health and fitness business on the side? Have you ever considered helping other people on their journey? That's an invite. Or an invite to a sneak peek. I want you to think about that. How many people are you actually inviting? Now remember that average, when you first start, you talk to 10, two are probably gonna get it. And the more you talk to, the better you're gonna get, and the more people that are going to get it <laughs> it works. I'm telling you, it works if you work it. When people tell me that this business doesn't work, I say, the business works. You didn't work. So let's do work, okay? Hey, and we're all guilty of, sl of slacking on the invites, okay? If we were inviting, if I were inviting five people every single day or three people every single day, my business would be a lot further. I ain't perfect. I don't expect you to be perfect, but I expect you to build this business to where you're making some money. Okay? I love ya! Um, there'll be an assignment in the post. Talk to you soon.